Questions like these seem to be pretty popular on tests or textbooks, focusing on permutations, combinations, or factorials in general. After recording the what even is a factorial video, I thought it might be a good idea to solve a more complex problem involving factorials. This problem is by no means the most complicated problem, but because of its popularity, I thought it might be worth doing a video on it. So you're being asked how many ways you can arrange 10 books if three of them must remain side by side. Now, if you're wondering why you would ever be solving a problem like this in real life, just look at my bookshelf. I like to make sure all of my Green Lantern books are side by side in chronological order, but that's pretty much it. Anything else goes. I always find the best way to solve problems like this, where you're arranging some number of items, is to write out the number of positions that are going to be filled by your items. We know we have 10 books in total, so I'm gonna write out 10 positions. I find this helps me visualize the number of possible arrangements in the scenario. Now, if I didn't have the stipulation of three of these books having to remain side by side, this would be a pretty simple problem. I have 10 books in total, so looking at the first position, I can fill it with any of the 10 available books. Having used one book to fill the first position, I now have nine available books for the second. I could continue in this way for positions three to 10. However, this does not account for the fact that three of these books must remain side by side. So we need a slightly different strategy. I'm going to draw a box around three positions to indicate the fact that three of these books must remain side by side. So imagine, if you will, that three of these books just became, for all intents and purposes, one book. So if we think about the problem in this way, we now have eight books that we're arranging side by side. Considering these three books as one book means I would have eight available books to fill this position. Having filled this position, I have seven available books for the next, and so on. So you might think, great, so it's just as simple as saying there are eight factorial possible ways of arranging these 10 books. However, if you said that, you'd be wrong. The question does state that these books must remain side by side, but it does not state that there is one possible way this can happen. Thinking about the three positions available for the three books that must remain side by side, if I look at the first position, I know there are three available books that can fill that spot. Having filled the first position, I have two available books for the second position. That leaves me with only one available book to fill the third position. So we can say that I have three factorial possible ways of arranging the three books that must remain side by side. We reflect that in the answer to this problem by multiplying our original eight factorial by the three factorial possible ways of arranging the three books. So in total, there are 241,920 possible ways that I can arrange 10 books if three of them have to be side by side. Hmm, okay, so how many ways would there be to arrange my entire graphic novel bookshelf if I had to keep all of my Green Lantern books side by side? Yeah.